Sure. And you know, this is typically the time of year when we're telling you about the ski resorts opening for business. It's so much fun. But that's not the case this year. Ski season is officially off to a bit of a late start. So for more on that, let's bring in KGW meteorologist Joe Ranieri, who's up on the KGW roof. It's always a primo assignment. Joe, I'm <laughs> loving that for you. Uh, but seriously, Timberline, Mount Hood Meadows, Mount Bachelor, they're not even close to opening. So um, do we have any idea when when that could change? Well, nobody has a specific date yet, but they are hopeful. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, things will kind of turn around for them on their side. Keep in mind, just a couple of weeks ago, the snowpack was looking really good. And I was up at Timberline uh, just a couple of weeks ago talking with uh, John Burton, who told me they were hoping they could hit their average, which is November 18th to start. Well, that's not the case this year. At one point earlier this month, Maggie, Timberline Lodge had about two feet of snow just on the ground outside the lodge there. Now you're probably wondering, well, what happened to all that snow? Well, November came through bringing in a lot of warm temperatures and a lot of precipitation of just rain. So far here locally, we've seen well over six inches of rain for the month of November. We still have another day left in the month. Also, the temperatures we've seen daytime highs 60 or above at least eight times this month. And that's a big reason the warm conditions and the rain up above in the past levels has really prevented the ski resorts from opening where they should be this time of year. Gotcha. And so Joe, it, you know, it feels like an obvious question at this point, our warming climate. How much of a role has that played in, in this later start? Well, I found that interesting. I talked with Dave Tragathon with Mount Hood Meadows specifically about that. He told me he hasn't seen a big drop up at Meadows over the last 10 years or so. He told me the average over the last decade is about 430 inches of snow for their snowpack. Now, if you do the math, that's about 36 feet of snow. And last year, Maggie, they saw over 450 inches of snow. So they're hoping, even though they're getting a late start this year, that they can easily catch up, hopefully sometime next month. All right, Joe Ranieri with the info for us. Joe, thank you. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Matt Safino now. I mean, so the, another question, like what does this mean for our winter overall? What do you know about what this means? We skiers get anxious this time of the year. Are you if okay? I'm, you know, I'm having a little bit of a, of a thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. I need to, I'll you're, work you're through it. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we do, we, we want to ski and, and if you can get going by Thanksgiving, that's always a bonus, and, and as Joe said in this story, we usually do at Timberline November 18th being the average opening, but we don't always get it by Thanksgiving, and we usually always get it by Christmas. <laughs> I'm so excited, I just ran into my own wall there. How about that? All right, so what I did here is I looked at three different years, and there are many others with different data, but here's a sample of three for you. And I looked at the November snowfall versus what the season ended up doing at government camp. And I like government camp for a couple of reasons. Number one, we have a good record, good data set to work with. Plus, it's relatively lower elevation down at 4,000 feet. So it gives you an indication as to how cold the winter is. If it's super warm, you don't get a lot of snow at government camp. So this year, only seven inches of snow at government camp this month. And that's how it's going to end because we won't get any new snow at government camp. Uh, between now and you know the next two days, right? So how will the year turn out? Well, don't know just yet, do we? But here's a couple things to consider. 1954, 1955, November only had 12 inches of snow, ended up with over 300 inches at government camp, the average being 257 at Govey, and the November average is with healthy 31 inches. Didn't get close in either one of those years. More recent history, 2008, 2009, 17 inches of snow at government camp in November of 2008 ended up with 330 inches that year turned into a monster year. So November snowfall does not always tell you how the rest of the season is going to go. What does give us a good clue and it's not always the case, but uh, what does give us a good indication as to how our winter weather will go is La Nina. And for that, we look at the sea surface temperatures across the equatorial eastern Pacific Ocean. See this little line of yellow right here? That's water that is cooler than average. That changes the distribution of heat and moisture in the atmosphere, pushes it farther west in the western Pacific. That in turn changes the position of the jet stream. That with La Nina, which is what we have, usually turns into a very good snowfall winter for the Cascades. In case you're wondering about the blob, 
There's no blob in the North Pacific right now. That can have an impact on our winter weather and summer weather as well, but we've got cooler than average water across the North Pacific, which usually can bode pretty well for us too. So again, it's just too early to say that we're not going to have a ski season or we're going to have a bad ski season. I'm really bullish that it's going to turn into a really good ski season actually. In the near term, don't see a lot coming to Oregon, but we begin to see some pretty decent snowfall in the Washington Cascades towards the end of next week. I think the Oregon Cascades will get in on the action sometime around the middle of next month, Maggie. So don't lose hope. Are you okay? I'm gonna I'm between, you know, the snow <laughs> thing and hitting my wall here. Yeah, I'll be all right. But Maybe thanks for checking. it's a good thing you're not skiing if you're, if you're just, just running into the wall. It just throws me off. Oh man, I love it. All right, Matt, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I think I pulled a muscle. Okay, when the story continues, we actually have an update on a, on a very serious topic. Uh, Oregon